Squids. This is Squeezy here with another AI Lisp tutorial, and this time you actually are getting into artificial intelligence. It's not just how to use Lisp, which I thought was dumb, but we needed to get into the idea of Lisp. So, um, might as well throw away all your programming knowledge now because it gets weird. So this is code, well, okay, so most of this is code from the AIMA textbook, but I added in that. <laughs> not much, I know, but quite important. So, this is a GPS program, or not really a, um, geographic position, or whatever the hell GPS stands for, but a general problem solver, or general problem solving algorithm, and essentially what this does is it takes a set of preconditions and a goal, and it tries to work to get to that goal. Um, it's actually pretty intelligent once you, once you pretty intelligent once you program it right. Of course, I'm going to put this code online, or I will just link to the AMA chapter where it goes over this. Um, but I'm going to go over and explain what everything here does, and um, uh, hopefully it'll work. So what we have is we have um, um, uh, um, all right, well, first off, all of this is just the nitty-gritty. This is all the stuff that actually solves the program. But what we need to pay attention to is what uh, is what is up here. Because this is a list of all the preconditions and all of the um, goals. So I'm going to, of course, put all of this stuff, you know, in the order. No, I'll just link to the AMA, the AMA chapter. And, um, you know, th that'll be that. Uh, but... Or I'll put the code on the line. And, but I want to credit AMA for this. I want to credit AMA. And I would like to credit the AI class at Montgomery Blair High School for actually teaching me this. Probably shouldn't have said that, but I said it, and that's the way it is. Alright, so let's get right into it. Um, the first thing we need to know is what is um, all of these stuffs. Uh, okay, well, uh, def, def struct it's just defining a structure. It's not really very important, but def parameter essentially is a global parameter. It's something used in the entire program. So if we have here school ops, uh, when it when it goes to refer to all of this, it'll refer to school ops so it knows where to look. And uh, essentially what this is, is it's just a giant list of, of different of different uh, preconditions and goals and stuff. And, um, mm -hmm. yep, essentially that's what it is. So, yeah. So, uh, let, let, let's get started with what, how does a general problem solver work? Well, a general problem solver works by, by, um, um, essentially what it does is it takes a basic precondition, like, uh, so the precondition here is sun is at home, and the car works. And the goal is sun is at school. So what it wants to do is it wants to go through a whole bunch of steps to get the sun to school. And, um, of course, this doesn't have any practical uses, but it's it's cool to learn. So you have sun at home, which is the first precondition. So you really can't go to school if the sun isn't at home in the first place. So suppose sun at school, well, you can't really solve the problem of the sun getting to school if the sun's already at school. So you need to specify that the sun is at home and the car does work. So what it will do is it will essentially say, okay, get in the car and drive the kid to school. That's the most simple scenario. But suppose we have a scenario that says sun at home, and, uh, needs money, has job, and we don't have a phone book. So we know we have a job to get money, and we need money, so we go to a job and we get money. And then, we know we don't have a phone book to call up a mechanic and get the car working, because, again, we didn't specify that car works, so the car must not work. Or, no, we specify that car needs battery, or that the shop knows the problem, or the shop has the money, but, but because we don't specify this, we assume it doesn't happen. So what we do is we go, we go ahead and try to solve that. So what we have is we have, uh, we need money, and we, ha we don't have a job, say. Uh, has no job. So uh, we want to essentially get a job, uh, so that we have that, and we need money, so we get money, all right? And we, um, we, we, we don't have phone books, so we get the phone book, and we add to our pre, we, we add to our list that we have a phone book, and that we, we have money, and we have a job, so we can actually go ahead and solve the problem. And then we go down and we have, um, uh, telephone shops, so, so, 
suppose we don't know the phone number, so we, we look up the phone number, we have a phone book, so we know the phone number now, so we know the phone number, so we become in communication with the shop. Well, now that we're in communication with the shop, what we can do is, um, we can tell the shop the problem, so the shop knows the problem. So if we know the shop has, so the shop knows the problem, and the shop has the money, then the car works, and then we have son at school, and now we're son at home, and we know that the car works, so we can drive to school. That's how a general problem solver works, okay? And, um, essentially, if we go here, uh, and we just load up the program real quick, um, uh, this is just where the program is. But if you, if you watch my last tutorial, then you should know how to run it. I mean, the, the main thing with that last tutorial, the problem was important, but how to run it in lists, in the, um, the uh, compiler is important. But anyway, we do that. And then, now we have to run up the program. This is how you run it. You do GPS... And essentially, what you do is you just do, um, you just do, ah, sorry, ouch. You just do, um, um, sun at home. Okay, so we know that the sun is at home, and we know that, uh, uh the, the, uh, say the car needs battery. Okay, uh, we has no job, we needs uh, money, and we don't have a phone book. And I just want to make sure this works. That's too many O's, I think. Yeah, that, that works. So, we don't have the phone book. Um, Alright, and then we need to say the goal, which is going to be the sun, is at school. So once it solves this thing, once it says the sun is at school, you can see it right here, the sun is at school, we know we've solved the pro problem. And uh, uh, once, once we know that the sun is at school, um, um, we, we, we can say safely that... Um, no, wait, that's not what I meant to do. School... Ops. I'll explain what school options is, is, is in a second, and we run that. Okay, there we go. So now we've solved the problem. problem. So how do we solve the problem? Well, well, we have to get the phone book. We have to look up the number. We have to tell us from the shop. We have to tell the shop the problem. We have to get money. Right, we have to get a job. Get the money. Uh, give shop. Give the shop the money. Uh, shop and sell the battery. Drive the center to school and solve. And really, the only thing that doesn't make sense is just getting the phone book. Um, well, we have to have money. And, oh wait. Oh, I figure out why that didn't make sense. Essentially, we have to go here and we have to have, say, have money to get the phone book. So, so let's rerun that. There we go. Okay, so so we get the phone book. I mean, it works the same way, but... Oh, I know why. Alright, there we go. Get job, get money. So and so now it makes a little more sense. You get the, So you get a job, you get some money, you get a phone book, you look up the number, you telephone the shop, you tell the shop the problem, you, you, so, so on and so forth, until you get to... Solve. And that is how a general problem solver works. Now, of course, I will put the chapter for Emma in the um, in, in 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 the description or or something along those lines. I'll I'll figure out what to do. But um, I want to credit Emma. That's essentially that. And um, yeah, that, that's how it works. I hope my explanation was adequate. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in a later tutorial. Au revoir.